Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress and this is your Daily Dust for Saturday, January 27th if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's a timeless reading. I just received this amazing deck in the mail, the Empyrean Tarot by Threads of Fate. It's a lenticular deck, meaning that it's a really nice big chunky book, um, meaning that there's, mul there's uh, two images and it's sort of like, kind of like having a movie, uh, a little video <laughs> within your within your card. So one side is, is all beautiful, holographic and shiny, and then the other side is does this lenticular thing, and it's like vinyl and really cool. So you can see a full flip through review of this if you like in my playlist of the decks that I own. And if I can remember, I'll put a little uh, reminder up there, a link so you can look at the flip through review if you're interested in. So let me give it a shuffle. This one is a little bit chunky for shuffling, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay. It is very flexible though. Get my big nails around it. <laughs> it's got that very scratch the records <laughs> vinyl sounds. Okay. Let's get three cards from the middle and see what your message is. We have Oh, the lovers right off the bat, you guys. How nice. <laughs> lovers. And we have judgment. Okay, interesting. <laughs> that judgment coming out. Is it, there's two thoughts came through my head. One is somebody, you know, there's a somebody judging this relationship, and the other thought is um, judgment makes me feel like being alive, like oh, like this connection makes you feel like born again, like you make me feel like a natural woman, you know, like I feel so alive. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. And the Five of Wands. Okay. Five of Wands. A bit of a struggle. So let's see what we get. All right. Let's zoom on in and I'll get you your messages. So right away, you know, we have kind of cards. The Lovers and Judgment. So this could definitely feel like outside forces at work here. And... The best way to deal with the outside forces is to go with the energy and try not to oppose the energy. Because when you oppose the energy, it feels feels difficult. You know, there it raises difficulties. Other or you know, if it's something you truly believe in and you really feel like you have to fight for something, then then you know that's a choice that you have to make. But the lovers is the element of air, it's the planet Mercury, it's the third house, it's the sign of Gemini, it's about love, choice, partnerships, and commitment, and polarity. Um, the lovers is about devotion and the choice to continue to show up. And so you see two figures that are not in reverence to one another, but to the moon. And that holds so much symbolism for a spiritual practice. And in that, um, our relationship with ourselves, the figures along with the moon form a triangle representing mind, body, and spirit. So for, for love reading, this could be a new relationship or a deeper connection with one. For career, it could be choices in work or business partnership. And for resources, it could be a financial decision or some kind of shared thing that brings prosperity. So with the, with the judgment card, it feels like something is like, I feel, I keep hearing the phrase born again, born again. Oh, you know that song, woman, don't you know with you, I'm born again. It could be a song that connects you. So judgment is the elephant, elephant, <laughs> the elephant in the room. Maybe that's what it is. It's the element of fire. It is the planet of Pluto. It's the eighth house. 
It's the sign of Scorpio, and it's all about transformation, awakening, rebirth, completion, recon resurrection. It, it could be um, a sexual energy, too, you know, that's happening here with these lovers. Um, so there is, uh, there is this sense of finding clarity, and this winged woman has her arms raised, seeing the power that lies around her. And um, there's a portal behind her, so there's, you know, this opportunity to go in and out of the portal. And it's also there's this formless energy that the judgment has. In love, this is like the renewal of love. This is reconciliation, too, and commitment. In career, this is like also recognition and it could be a career change and it could also represent accountability or in general the the judgment card can be atonement like something that you feel like you need to make up for like a very in a very mundane way um even though the 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 five of wands comes at the end it could have been like a small little fight between lovers and somebody is atoning for it and you know like maybe they were in the doghouse and somebody brings you flowers something like that it could be a reconciliation after uh, a period of, of um, frustration with somebody um, so in, in resources, this could be a return on investment, it's some kind of prosperity, and also financial clarity. And, well, <laughs> the judgment. So, um, the struggle, what is the struggle that we're dealing with here? Let's, let me meditate on this a little bit. In a very mundane way, this could be like observing somebody, you know, uh, watching TV or something like that. But with the major arcana here, I sometimes feel like this is an outside energy that's affecting you somehow. Um, also, I feel like that, you know, maybe you need to be heard a little bit clearer. And, and, and the Five of Wands brings kind of fears. Fears get in the way. But what I love about the moon here, that you don't normally see the moon with the lovers, but what I see with the moon here is it's the fear of the unknown, but um, ha facing the unknown and being brave. And here, there could be a fear of the unknown, but having to kind of struggle through it to, to make a transformation happen. I like how the judgment card has the kind of globes and bubbles coming through similar to the moon. And it may be an inner struggle. It's just like you just could be fighting against yourself to, to allow this change or allow this um, renewal or, uh, yeah, this reconciliation even. Maybe there's pride that gets in the way of the reconciliation. Could be a lot of, a lot of different layers here. Um, it's, it's, to me, it's just general, it's just general emotions too. It's, it's not really using your in intellect very much. It's just using your, your fire, passion, energy, just, just to, oh, just to come out. It could just also be simple as makeup sex too for some people. I mean, um, it does feel a bit like a, a bit of a power struggle or egos kind of coming up to the surface even after a good day which can be kind of sad you know you have you feel like you have this really great day where everything's going well and then you have a power struggle at the end of the day that doesn't feel right that's why sometimes I feel like the third card can be in you know or any of the chart cards can be interchangeable like maybe you had the power struggle and now you're seeing past it but life is brings us cycles like that anyway so um in love this could be disagreements and turbulence and maybe even a bit of competition but could also be healthy competition because five of wands also represents the sparring which doesn't is not like a hardcore uh you know difficulties it's it sometimes it's it's like faux fighting and like joking around it could even be sports to for that matter it could be like 
a fun couple, like using sports as a way to break the ice or get to know each other or have fun with each other. This could be even gaming and things like that too. So look, it could represent a lot of things to different people out there. And it doesn't have to be just plain disagreements or disharmony. It could actually be using the a physical energy um, or a sparring type energy to help work out some kind of situation. Um, it, as far as career though, it could be competition at work. Or some kind of power struggles, and yeah, and maybe um, if you're dealing with a financial situation, it could be just um, some frustrations um, dealing with um, with that. But I feel like the biggest energy I have of this overall overarching energy, because I feel like the lovers is so strong. The lovers and the, the judgment card are the strongest and this is a minor energy so I feel like minor issues can be over completely overcome with um, with a sense of harmony and re like a renewal and renewed energy a, um, a, a commitment to even like maybe um, after a much discussion heated discussion or passionate discussion it could be that two people decide to actually fully commit to each other so i feel like sometimes small arguments can also lead to great insights so you never know what this can bring you but i feel like it is going to end up in a positive situation a, a place where two people will see eye to eye <laughs> all right and i hope you like that faith just and pixie dust mm -hmm.